Hey gamers, it's Winterbute here from Grind This Game. And this episode I'm going to check out the Moth's Garage here. And last episode we checked out the Patriot's House. Okay, so, uh... This guy maybe saw an alien. Or he's a loony. He's a loony loon. What do we have here? Hmm. <laughs> this forward film the man has a passion for intergalactic things back then people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well seems like the mechanic had made his choice why is it that UFO pictures are always blurry? That's a lot of whatever that is. Oh, maple syrup? Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Oh, yeah. That first pin looks a bit like where we found that uh, frozen man. Let's compare it to our map. Okay, gas station, general store. It was kind of at the end of that river. Okay, at the end of the lake. We're not at the end of the lake yet. We're secret project, oh. Interesting. Maybe we should head down there, but we're gonna freeze, so we gotta we gotta get that winter gear from the old man. Bombardier. Parts manual. Okay, there's I think there's a ski mobile somewhere. Probably out back. What the heck is this? A <laughs> tinfoil hat. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? I think it's just a new uh, fashionable hat. So we got a pin at the end there, we got a pin over there, and a pin in the top left. Where's that on your map? That would be... Oh, ice cave. Okay, oh there's a cave there. I didn't even see that cave by the general store. There's a cave there, a secret project there, and a cave there. Okay, the plot thickens. This guy has a lot of rations. Oh, alien pictures. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. Really? <laughs> Hammer. Nice. Oh, what the heck? This guy has a really weird layout of things. It's, it looks like he never quite moved in. Rock collector. Okay. It's a bag. Empty. Hmm. 
these scribblings were undoubtedly the mark of a tormented mind. Something wasn't right in the poor mechanic's head. Looks like he had a thing for this lady. These are quite the schematics he's got there. Okay, I think we saw everything we need to see in here. I think. I always feel like I'm gonna miss something. But let's check outside. There's probably something outside. Oh, that's bright. Those chimes. Nice catio. They say it's supposed to soothe the soul. But with this powerful gale that seemingly never sleeps, it was far more likely to get on anyone's nerves. Snowmobile ski. Okay, where's this snowmobile? Oh, it's right there. But let's check over here first. <laughs> nice view in the summer. Oh, we just took some beer off that. We took the cushion, but it looked like Carl hadn't lived up to his good finder reputation. He still hadn't found any of the wealth contained in Lamotte's lands. Okay. So yeah, we took the cushion off that, and it looked like we got beer. Moving right along. <laughs> yeah, no need to mow the lawn. Okay, here's that ski -doo. By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. Oh, that cushion we got is the bench. Okay. Place track. Place light and handlebars. Place skis. We got one ski. Oh, we need some pliers. It's back here. Nothing. Okay, are we freezing? Kind of. Okay, the music is starting to... Oh, there's a piece. Okay, we need pliers. Gas can, okay. Nothing in there. Oh, what's this? Headlight. Okay, there's probably something in here. Uh oh, we're gonna have a seizure. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Uh-oh, here we go. Hallucin Another worrisome victim of this ice. Another. This one seemingly petrified in action. The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to have been defending the entrance to his cabin. But from what? I think we're going to have a hallucination here. Let's 
Spooky. What was that? Oh crap. Fire. Oh no. I got locked in there. Looks like he chucked something up in that bucket. Whoa. Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Oh, well, there's a bunch of buckets up there. Okay. Oh, handlebars for the ski -doo. Using my flashlight in here. The very first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago. The event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around. <laughs> yeah, why was he sleeping in here? To all appearances, Carl concluded, the owner of the place had moved more essentials from his house inside the garage. Peculiar man indeed. Yikes. Okay, we need pliers. There they are. We can't get them though. Oh no. Why can't we get them? Those are not the pliers you're looking for. No, we don't need that. What is this? Headlight. This looks like it's like a little UFO. He was building a UFO. Repair a spaceship? What? Haha! <laughs> it's a little... Gas-powered spaceship. Uh-oh. It was an indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. <laughs> Homemade flying saucer. Exactly. Okay, why can't we take these pliers? Maybe we already have them. Because that, that thing needed pliers, and it seemed to work. Okay, it doesn't show that we have our pliers. Oh, what's this? The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. Yeah, let's go try to repair that ski-doo. I 
don't know why we can't get those pliers, but... Maybe I should take a photo of this guy. Place headlight and handlebars. Oh, that worked. We're still missing some tools for this. Or maybe just the skis we're missing. I thought I got the ski though. This music is a bit repetitive. Oh yeah, the bucket. I ever totally forgot about the bucket back here. We need to warm up first. Let's warm up and then go check out where that bucket was, try to get it down. Burr. And I think we need another cigarette. Maybe there's some stuff out here we missed. Oh. Oh, there's the ski. Snowmobile, ski, bottle. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah. What good was a motor in this car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. And a bucket. How do we get the bucket? Up there. Is that thing? Oh, that's from the thing. Maybe we can get on the roof. The roof. Yeah, get up there maybe. Need a ladder. Oh! <laughs> There's a ladder right there. And a bicycle. What a strange place for a bicycle. How do we get that ladder? We can't jump in this game. Oh, there's another ladder. Oh, that's not a ladder. It's like a little... Kind of looks like a ladder, but... Doesn't let us pick it up. Oh, maybe we can jump up there. Well, we can jump outside, but not inside. Okay, that's not working. Hmm. Let me get up there. Other ski do on. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and a key, and this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Hmm. Ah, the music. Okay, was there a ladder in here I missed? I doubt it. Uh huh. There's the letter. How do we get it? Doesn't look like we can get that. Okay, we'll have to come back here. The music's gonna drive me insane, so we gotta take this booze back to Rosaire. We got more stuff to do here. We gotta get on the roof, get that bucket, follow the wolf tracks into the cave. But I'm gonna quickly go back to Rosaire and see if we can get that warm coat. And we can come back here. Mm. 
Oh, that was the spark plug. Just sitting in the mailbox. Okay. So we got that. We need the keys. And yeah, there was one other thing we needed and I've forgotten already. But we gotta go back to Rosair first. Well, there were those wolf tracks, but... We'll check those out another time. Is this where we want to go? No. That's the cave. We'll be checking that out another time. Okay, I think this is Rosera's place. Whoa! It's going a bit too fast there. Okay, let's see if this makes him happy. Nice. We are all warm and toasty now. And I'm going to wrap up this episode. Next time we'll try to get that snowmobile going. Maybe now that we got a coat we can check out, uh, check out the, some of those caves that we saw on the map or the secret project. And there's still some, some houses we haven't inspected, so lots to do in the next episode. So as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.